uh, page 11, exercise 1.3, question 1. And I'm going to write down all the information that we're told first of all. So this guy's name is Ian, and his gross salary is €37,000. His standard, now I didn't actually explain these terms, his standard rate cutoff point. So when I said a minute ago that, his that he had up to 24000 that's the standard rate of tax. Standard rate of tax. So his standard rate cutoff point is 24,000. Standard rate cutoff. So that means he pays, but um, here it's, it's standard rate cutoff point is 37,400. So this is a really easy one. In this one it was 24,000. And here's the higher rate was everything else. Okay? And that was 40%, and the standard rate was 20%. Okay? So in this question, it's a bit weird. They've given him a salary of 37,000. I'm just going to draw a box to represent that. His standard rate cutoff point is 37,400. So actually, he's only going to pay tax at the standard rate. Cutoff point is 37,400. So because he doesn't earn any more than 37,400, he only pays standard rate of tax. So his standard rate of tax is 20%. And then we're told about his tax credit is 2,100. And then he's got these additional contributions or other deductions that are made which I mentioned he could have earlier. So he's got union fees of 450 euro and health insurance of 350 euro. So I tend to start off by writing down all the information we're given, just so that I know where we're at. Now he's got a gross salary of 37,000. So he's going to pay 20% of 37,000 in income tax. So his tax, it's just going to be standard tax because he doesn't earn enough to pay higher tax, is going to be 20% of 37,000. Okay, so um, one fifth of 37,000 is going to be 7,400, I think. So his tax is going to be 7,400. Now he's very lucky because he doesn't have any higher tax. So his gross tax in total is 7,400. I'm just going to check that. 0.2 times 37,000. Yep, 7,400. Now, I'm going to, at this stage, remember I said a minute ago, I don't mind which way you do it. I'm going to take away my tax credits at this stage. So he should pay the government or the tax van, he should pay them 7,400, but they're going to give him back 2,100. So I'm going to take that 2,100 away from 7,400, and I get 5,300. So this is what's called his tax payable. His tax payable is 5,300. So at this stage, He's given 37,000 in his gross salary. He's due to give back 5,300, but he has a couple of other deductions as well. So his other deductions add up to, well, they've got 450, which is the union fees, and 350, which is health insurance. So they add up to 800. So we've got an, an additional 800 euro that's going to be taken off his salary, deducted from his salary. So his total other deductions is 800. So he's got this starting gross salary of 37,000. They're going to take off 5,300 euro in tax payable. And they're going to take off 800 in other deductions. 
So his take home pay is going to be 37,000 minus 5,300 minus 800. So his take home pay is going to be 30,900. Hopefully you found that straightforward.